Chief Representative of JICA PNG said this technical program has been implemented for three years and will conclude by the end of this year. We have uh, developed the training materials for engineers uh, who will operate and maintain uh, power supply systems in this country. Yeah. And also, uh, uh, not only for technical aspect, uh, economic and financial aspect is also very important. Yeah. The 15 first generation trainers have received training in Japan and Papua New Guinea. Our own engineers, our own technical people have been trained to that standard, a world-class standard, and we'll be issuing that, and these are key um, assets in terms of our HR human resource capacity within PPL is concerned. The chief representative of JICA PNG said if the program is continued, JICA will be training five PPL officers yearly. I hope uh, uh, PP, PPR uh, will keep this momentum uh, with their uh, ownership and also hopefully other development partners like World Bank, Asian Development Bank, uh, United States, uh, also uh, UN uh, organizations, uh, they are also involved uh, so that uh, they will also uh, keep uh, this momentum, also uh, expand the outcomes of this project. Under this program, a human resource development system was created to sustain the trainings. Malinta Yopolo, National MTV News.